today we're going to talk about four mood disorders. In the previous video, we talked about the five anxiety disorders, which were generalized anxiety disorder, phobias, panic attacks, OCD, and PTSD. Today, let's focus on mood disorders. There are four that we're going to discuss today. These include major depressive disorder, dysthymia, bipolar disorder, and cyclothymia. So let's get started. What is major depressive disorder? Well, you'll remember the symptoms of major depressive disorder by the acronym SIG-ECAPS. What is SIG-ECAPS? Well, S for stands for sleep, I for interest, G for guilt, E for energy, C for concentration, A for appetite changes or weight loss, P for psychomotor agitation or retardation, and last, the S for suicidal ideation. So remember SIGI caps for the symptoms that will be present in major depressive disorder. And in order to diagnose major depressive disorder, five out of the eight symptoms must be present for at least two weeks. If there is suicidal ideation and a plan, the patient needs to be hospitalized. If there is suicidal ideation but no plan, a safety contract should be initiated. So there are two different categories of depression. There's typical depression and atypical depression. Typical depression, basically everything is decreased except for there's increased guilt. Whereas atypical depression, it's pretty much the same thing except they have increased weight and increased sleep. Now, how would you treat major depressive disorder? For typical depression, you treat it with SSRIs or serotonin reuptake inhibitors. So what this does is in an individual with depression, they have low serotonin levels. So SSRIs or serotonin reuptake inhibitors, what they do is they inhibit the reuptake of serotonin, hence increasing the concentrations. And you would treat atypical depression with SNRIs. What are SNRIs? They are serotonin and norepinephrine reuptake inhibitors. You could also use electrocognitive therapy for depression. And I actually was able to go and watch this procedure while I was doing my psych rotation. And it's actually pretty cool. It's simple, it's quick. So what they do is they induce seizures but the patient is completely sedated. <laughs> the interesting thing is that they put a blood pressure cuff on one of the ankles, usually it's the right ankle, and as they uh, induce seizures, they watch the foot and there's fasciculations of the foot. You can also see a little bit of fasciculation on the hands and uh, in the hands as well. And uh, electrocognitive therapy is actually really quite interesting. There is a stigma to it. However, there is no contraindication to get electrocognitive therapy. It's usually given to individuals with uh, depression that is resistant to medication, and it can, act it can be used in uh, pregnant patients. There's no harm to the baby. Um, it's pretty interesting. However, due to the stigma, it's not as highly used. Now let's talk about dysthymia. What's dysthymia? It is basically a milder form of depression, but it's a persistent depressive state for at least two years. Another name for dysthymia is persistent depressive disorder. Now, dysthymia is a mild form of major depressive disorder and there is no loss of function. In order to diagnose dysthymia, you have to rule out major depressive disorder and you would treat it with same as depression with SSRIs. All right, let's talk about bipolar disorder. So there are two types of bipolar disorder. There is bipolar one, which is um, consists of mania and bipolar 2 which consists of hypomania and major depressive episode. So uh, how would you remember the symptoms of bipolar disorder? Remember it by the acronym DIGFAST. So D for distractibility, I for insomnia, G for grandiosity, F for flight of ideas, A for agitated or psychomotor agitation, S for sexual indiscretion, and T for talkative or pressured speech. Now, in order to diagnose bipolar disorder, these individuals show three or more of the symptoms, and if it's present for more than one week, that is considered uh, that is considered bipolar one. If these symptoms are present for less than a week, but more than four days, and there is a major depressive episode, it is considered bipolar two. How would you treat bipolar disorder? You would treat it with mood stabilizers. The first line therapy for uh, bipolar disorder is lithium. You, you could also use lamotrigine and valproate as second and third line uh, therapy.
All right, let's talk about cyclothymia. Cyclothymia is basically a milder form of bipolar disorder. It consists of hypomania and dysthymia, and there is no loss of function. In order to diagnose it, you must rule out bipolar disorder, and you would treat it with a mood stabilizer such as lithium. All right, so let's recap. What did we learn today? We learned about four mood disorders. These were major depressive disorder, or MDD, uh, dysthymia, or persistent depressive disorder, bipolar disorder, and cyclothymia. Thank you for tuning in. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and tune in for more great videos.